guys, I figured I'd read another one of these because these are really fun. Um, and we've got a bunch more that we're going to start adding as the weeks go on. So this one is called Narwhal. Wait, nope, nope, nope. Crossed out. It is peanut butter and jelly. And it is by Ben Clanton, right? Ben Clanton, Scholastic Press. Here we go. Peanut butter and jelly. Scholastic. Oh, oh. Who here likes peanut butter and jelly? Who likes peanut butter and jelly without the crust? Who likes it with crust? Who likes peanut butter and banana? For Alex Cox. Keep spreading the awesomeness. So this is the dedication, right? All right, contents. You guys ready for the what of contents? The table, that's right. Sweet and salty story, page five. Right, 31 delicious facts. 33, ahoy, peanut butter. 45, super waffles and strawberry sidekick versus BB and J, which stands for peanut butter and peanut butter, AKA mini narwhal. Swoosh, a sweet and salty story. Nom nom. That kind of looks like a waffle, or is it, or what do you think? Is it a peanut butter cookie or a waffle? Peanut butter cookie or a waffle? Not sure. Here we go. Ahoy, jelly! What is that small, strange waffle you're eating? Nom, nom, nom. nom, nom, nom. Um, narwhal, this is not a waffle. This is a peanut butter cookie. All right, who likes peanut butter cookies? I love peanut butter cookies. Hee <gasps> peanut butter? <laughs> that sounds funny, what is it? What? You've never heard of peanut butter? Who's never heard of peanut butter? <gasps> Does it taste like a waffle? Um, no. Like strawberries? Pickles? Stir-fried licorice? No, no, and ink! Stir-fried licorice. Would you eat stir-fried licorice? Mm. Pickles, though. Mmm. And strawberries. Mmm. Have you guys ever had different types of pickles? Oh. Maybe it tastes like stir-fried pickle licorice on strawberry waffles. Should we eaten something like that before? No, not really. Actually, I pretty much only eat waffles. Phew. Wait a minute. Only waffles? Only? Only waffles? Oh, that's sad. Only waffles. You only eat waffles? Yep. That can't be true. What, what about spaghetti? You must have had spaghetti before. Spaghetti? Seriously? What about ice cream? Nope. That is just wrong. Pizza? Um, no. Mashed potatoes? Is that anything like mashed waffles? Mashed wa waffles? Um, really? Cake? Apples? Cheese? Pie? Artichokes? Marshmallows? Guacamole? Uh, sushi? French fries? Oh. Pie. Cheese. French fries. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. No, well, you can't just eat only waffles. Here, try this peanut butter cookie. Don't be sad if you only ate waffles. <gasps> Why? Have you even ever heard of too much of a good thing? Let's see. How can you have too many waffles? Right. Never mind. But maybe you like this cookie even more than a 
waffles. Because do you know if you like it if you don't try it? If you don't try it, how do you know if you like it? Hee hee, good one, Jelly. Nothing is better than a waffle. How do you know unless you try it? Pretty smart, Jelly. Thanks, Jelly, but I think I'll stick with waffles. Just one little bite. Gonna bite hurt you. Of chocolate peanut butter cookie. Mm. If you're not allergic. I'll tell you what, I'll make you an extra large waffle if you just try this peanut butter cookie. Oh. Extra large waffle. I mean, that sounds like good incentive, don't you think? How big would this extra large waffle be? Even bigger than you! Well, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to try a nibble. Hurt? Wait, some people are allergic to peanut butter. Oh. That's a good point. You aren't allergic to peanut butter, are you, Lala? How could, how can he tell? Do you know? Unless you've tried it, probably not. Or unless you had an allergy test. Whoa, allergy tests. Allergic? Don't think so. But I once knew a seahorse who couldn't eat waffles. It was the saddest thing I'd ever heard. Yet, she swore she was happy so long as she could eat gummy bears. Do you think seahorses usually eat gummy bears, guys? I'm gonna guess not, but uh, that's just me. Okay, here I go. One teeny tiny taste. Nibble, nibble. So, what do you think? <gasps> It's fantastic! So sweet! Nom nom! Nom! So salty! It's yummy! Nom 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 nom! Smack smack! It's scrumptious! Nom nom! It's... Yum... Wait, wait, wait. Yumptious! It's... It's... <laughs> Is yumptious a word? No. He's coming up with new words because it's that good. Oh, go on! Whoops. Whoops, whoops. All right, you guys ready? We are on page 31. Delicious facts. Okay, so scientists believe narwhals suck up their food whole and eat mainly fish. Right? Om nom nom. I prefer waffles and peanut butter. Most jellyfish sting their prey with their tentacles before eating it. Right? They sting it and then they pull it up towards their head where their mouth is and om nom 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 nom. Because they have open tummies. Jellyfish are weird. Blue whales, the largest animal ever, eat mainly little krill. They eat oodles of them, as many as 40 million krill per day. And he's going yum! And the krill is going eek! Krill are um, a tiny, tiny carnivorous plankton. Because uh, you have you have plant plankton, and then the coral plankton eat the plant plankton, right? D does anyone remember herbivores eat grass, and then carnivores eat herbivores, right? Om nom nom. We, we describe them by what they eat. So these guys eat little animals, right? Little tiny, 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 tiny plankton that we can't see except without a microscope, right? And they're called krill. So, nom nom nom. All right, you ready for the next facts? Here we go. Blub. Yeehaw! Round and round. Humpback whales work together to create complex bubble nets to corral fish to eat, right? They take a deep breath and then they let it out through their mouth as bubbles and they swim around in a circle and it's like a net, right? Sea cucumbers eat all sorts of things, including poop. <laughs> sea cucumbers going yummy. <laughs> Here's this one says, I've got a tummy ache. Tiger sharks are often referred to as the trash cans of the sea because they will eat just about anything from pigs to tires to explosives. So 
So if you dangle it down near them and they think it's food, om nom. Right? Oh my. All right, here we go. A holy peanut butter? Wait a second. I thought his name was Narwhal. Here we go. Whoa! Narwhal? Who? Me? What's he eating? Peanut butter. Yes, you know What happened to you all? Oh, my name isn't Narwhal. My name is Peanut Butter. Peanut Butter? That is not a name. It is now. I used to go by Narwhal, but... I love peanut butter so much, I decided to change my name. See? And it says, Ahoy! My name is Peanut Butter. What? You can't just change your name. Why not? Because it, it is a normal. Or normal. Ah. Oh. Well, I've never really wanted to be normal. Besides, this isn't the first time I've changed my name. Uh-oh. It isn't. Nope, I used to be called Fred. Fred? Your real name is Fred? Well, before Fred, I was Bob. Bob? Seriously? Yep. Before that, <laughs> before that, I was Nautilus the Third. Oh, and I was called Jimmy for a while. And I often like to go by Sir Duckworth. Wait, 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 Sir Duckworth. Changing names is fun. <laughs> Jellyfish is like, um, okay, dude. But what is your real name? My real name? Yes, the name your parents gave you. Narwhal! So, are you Narwhal? I'm Peanut Butter! <coughs> oh, look, Peanut Butter, or Narwhal, or Fred, or whatever you are calling yourself. Don't you think... You're taking this peanut butter thing a bit too far. Is he taking it a bit too far, guys? I mean, how much peanut butter have you eaten? I'm not exactly sure. I've been eating it nonstop ever since that cookie. Whoa, you are what you eat, right? <gasps> hmm, looks like I finished another jar. Time to go start a new one. That's a lot of peanut butter, guys. He's a big whale, and he's eating peanut butter. See ya, Floyd! What? Floyd? Where'd he get Floyd? Floyd! So now Jellyfish's name is... Floyd! Super Waffle and Strawberry Sidekick versus PB and J. And it says Peanut Butter Floyd. And then it, they crossed out by Narwhal and Jelly because now they're Peanut Butter and Floyd. See? Super Waffle and Strawberry Sidekick have beaten Angry, robo angry Robots and Villainous Blob. So this pickle will be a piece of cake. Piece of pickle? Arr. It's a very angry pickle. Mmm, pickles. I think I'd just eat that pickle, and then I'd win. <gasps> but before they can take a slice out of that pickle, pb and J time! Sandwich! You're stuck, pickle! I thought we were the greatest duo! That pickle is no big deal! Get it? No big deal? No big deal? Dill pickle? Dill pickle are sorry, the sour ones, right? But what's this? Jealous gelatinous jam! I need a jam! Because he picked up the piece of, of toast and now he's in, in a jam. Uh oh, he's stuck, right? <gasps> Super waffle and strawberry sidekick to the rescue! <gasps> that jam is no match for this jam, right? Because if you have a favorite tune, it's called your jam. <gasps> boom, boom, boom! Wee! <laughs>
they like to have dance-offs. P, B, and J, waffle berry time. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Peanut, a.k.a. Mini Narwhal, right? Wait. <laughs> Mini Narwhal. You guys ready? Here we go. Narwhal? Oh, uh, peanut butter? Ahoy, Flynn! A.k.a. Jelly! Wait. What? He's tiny. Why is he so tiny? He should not be that tiny. What's happened to you now? What do you mean? What do I mean? You're tiny! Oh, that! Well, when I woke up this morning, I was the size of a peanut. I think it might have something to do with all the peanut butter I've been eating. Can you usually be shrunk to the size of whatever you usually eat? You really need to give this peanut butter thing a break. I guess I'll have to. I've eaten all the peanut butter in the whole world wide waters. All of it? Yep. Oh my gosh. No wonder he turned into a peanut. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, but what are we gonna do about your being mini? Do? Yes! Aren't you worried you'll be peanut sized forever? Not really. But how will you play Ultimate Cannonball with me? And your T. Tutu outfit! Your cape won't either! He's awfully small, right? He's like bite sized. Shark might eat you by accident! Or he might shrink into nothing! <laughs> Go up. Ahoy! He's in the tummy, right? Poof. You could get stuck in a bubble! Whee! See him. Or a wave could wash you to Antarctica! If elephants lived in the water, one could step on you! Or suck you up in its trunk! Sort! Chillax, Ford! I think I'd be pretty worried. How can I chillax? This is awful! How are you okay with this? Because of the waffles! Wait, because of the what? Now that I am super small, all the waffles will seem huge to me! I can eat giant waffles! Oh, good point. The next day. Ahoy, Jenny! Ahoy, Floyd! AKA Floyd! Ah! You're enormous! Yep! Pretty much must have been all those giant waffles! Were they actually giant? <laughs> Isn't it super? But I thought you liked being tiny! I did! But now that I'm enormous, I can eat orders of waffles! I'll break the world record for waffle eating! That is ingenious! That means really, really clever. World record for waffle eating. Who would you break the world record for eating? Candy bars? Tomatoes? Peanut butter jars? Wait, no, not the jar, just the peanut butter, right? Can I make 7,000 more, please? And that is the story of now we're peanut butter and jelly! Bye! Ben Clinton! Alright guys, I'll talk to you later! Bye!